Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race. I'll see you in the video. Oh yes, we got it back. The shopping cart guys, the admin is shopping cart in Car Dealership Tycoon. And today we are going to be modding this out to the max so you can become the best shopping cart in CDT. But before we get started with this video, guys, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you guys haven't, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more. Now, let's get started with this video. All right, you know what? I'm just going to hop in right now, guys. Let's go ahead and go to the city race. Oh my gosh, I just like teleported super quick, like back to the future. All right, right now the shopping cart is stock. You guys see the speed is 99 miles an hour with a handling of 6.3 i don't know how true that is but let's go ahead and test it against a a corvette gt3 and you can see that the acceleration on this is absolutely bobo dude we haven't even hit top speed yet how is this even look at this we didn't even hit top speed 13.1 you know what that's not bad i think and the cool thing about this is we can actually fully modify this now i haven't actually drove this shopping cart ever since these modifications come out and i really wanted to get my offset like very very far with these just because i feel like this needs an offset upgrade guys there we go look at that i feel like we're more stable now with the shopping cart and then with the cambers <laughs> let's go ahead and do a negative 10 camber let's see how that looks oh no let's do a positive 10 on both of them or let's just do a positive five i guess that's a that's the most we could do and then height i think height is just fine it's perfect the way it is so let's see if this makes a little bit of a difference on the drag race guys by changing our alignments all right here we go let's see here we got other supercars with us oh no my cameras are inside out they're negative or positive i thought i was going the opposite way but i guess it did it wrong but here we go guys boom 94.83 we still kind of went the same exact speed but we got the cameras all messed up here guys let's go ahead and go negative five there we go and go negative five right here boom there we go i thought we could go higher like negative 10 we can there we go boom that's so much better guys look at that <laughs> look at this now all right now let's go ahead and get a race engine up there guys it's gonna boost our speed up to 50 miles an hour and then it's gonna give us a 61 percent acceleration okay this one i have to see this one's gonna be crazy look at the new top speed 149 miles an hour what this is literally as fast as these supercars out here now guys it's no longer the slowest all right here we go look at this what the heck maybe the cameras are kind of messing it up a little bit we should take it off after this race look at this guys we're still going we're hitting 90 oh we're hitting 100 now look at this 12.61 not bad and corvette is down all right you know what let's go ahead and change the cameras back to zero i think we're gonna keep the offset the same i don't think it's gonna do much damage but we'll maybe we'll turn it down a little bit let's go negative 10 a little bit or let's just go zero because i feel like we need to test this out at stock all right here we go the acceleration is still a little bit boo boo but you guys can see that we're hitting over 100 miles an hour now which is not bad maybe this will do good at the track i don't know but look at that 12.4 and we actually hit 110 now i gotta say that that's not good at all but i feel like once we go ahead and slap on the turbos and not just any turbo but the race turbo guys we're gonna get a 44 percent acceleration of what we already have and then you guys can see that we don't even have any turbos on this at all so let's go ahead and slap this twenty-two thousand dollar race turbo and you guys hear that and this is gonna be insane i gotta see what my new time is with this now all right here we go with the race turbo i expected us to do some type of wheelie or something but we didn't but you guys can see we're passing 110 now and boom look at that 10.64 at 124 miles an hour 
that's not bad you know what i'll take it this is supercar like status now okay maybe not supercar but this is shopping cart status and i do want to race this around the season six race and see how it does so let's go oh here we go this is my first time racing this ever i never really raced this car just because the handling really really sucked i felt like it wasn't good enough or fast enough on these races but now i feel like it can actually compete with some of these cars maybe not the f1 and the gtp cars that just took off but you guys can see this shopping cart is doing so much better now <laughs> it's so much better than before but it still spins out if you guys don't avoid the curves at all you guys have to make sure you don't hit the curves or else it's gonna mess you up look at this i'm already i feel like i'm already like messing up oh gosh i feel like i need to get my alignment up on this guys i feel like i do all right i just changed my offset so it should be a little bit better now here we go see we're not spinning out as much anymore but we're gonna jump this ramp let's see <laughs> oh my gosh yo that was sick we didn't stick it perfectly but that was pretty cool okay i feel like this would do so much better at the circuit race because it's not the fastest but the handling is almost pretty good as the supercars out there maybe because it's a shorter vehicle usually they have like the best handling out of all of them but this is sick man this is a twin turboed shopping cart and you guys can see we're zooming throughout the whole map right now oh my gosh and this is first person this is how it looks like first person guys if you haven't seen my past videos about this and look at this <laughs> this is cool if you guys want me to do one with the burger car too let me know in the comments down below here we go let's do this jump Ooh, that shopping cart just broke right now oh no look at this my best lap was a minute and i got lap bruh all right guys we're at the track you know i gotta do a little bit of a hot red if i'm gonna be in here so let's go ahead and put why does it look pink but you know what it's fine let's go ahead and put red in here but it looks super pink i don't like it but let's go ahead and do a different color let's do uh let's do black and white or black and red it kind of looks uh sporty oh we could change the wheel to white that's pretty cool but here we go look at this we got our cart mobile against the bugatti <laughs> the bugatti vision gt guys and whatever that blob is all right i'm not gonna lie this feels really really cool <laughs> we are in the track i feel like i'm in a go-kart right now and i gotta say this is probably one of the funnest race i've ever done in cdt i this is like super super fun guys look the handling of this is absolutely insane if you just don't spin out you guys can win a race against supercars i know i'm kind of taking it a little bit slow but that's because i'm still kind of learning the track if you guys don't be careful with the sand ah you guys can see you will slip out and that's because this is a smaller car too so i gotta stay on the pavement look at this if you stay on the pavement guys <laughs> This is literally one of the best track cars in CDT. Look at this. Wow, the handling is so cool. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Avoiding the sand. Oh, gosh. Oh, we almost touched it right there. Here we go. This U-turn right here is usually hard. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at that. We still did that U-turn at a pretty good speed. And now we're going to cross the third lap right here. And I want to see if I can get a best personal time with this. Oh, gosh. I spoke way too soon. And the cool thing is it's pretty easy to drive it on first person, guys. You don't really need to drive this on third person at all. And it makes it more enjoyable. Now, if we could just put a longer wheelbase on this, I think this car would be golden. Maybe we could actually mess with the cambers a little bit. Uh, let's go with a negative... Uh, I don't know maybe we could go with a negative five that's the highest that we could do and then negative five on the back too all right here we go i feel like we're more secured now with this oh my gosh i got lapped again look at this 41.2 as my best lap that's not even bad at all guys for a shopping cart i feel like doing another one to see if i could do a better lap like this guy did a let's see here a 35.5 that's not a far away from mine and this guy did 42.2 and he got first place so i want to see if i can actually beat him on this one now all right two bugattis i'm definitely not gonna win this one look at this i'm doing so much better than the ssc tuatara right now guys oh he's crashing and so am i oh gosh okay let's see if i can come back here all right 51 seconds i did worse on that one i slipped out a lot but you know what you guys get the point the shopping cart is pretty good 
If you guys know how to drive it, and if it had a longer wheelbase, this is probably going to be one of the best cars in CDT. But yes, this is the fully modded shopping cart right here, guys. And if you want it, well, you can't get it because it is admin only or if you work for CDT. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you guys have it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Look at that VTech power right there, baby. And peace out.